All right, guys, I am gonna make a DIY screen door for my she shed. I got two little kittens and uh, gonna make it easy to keep them in and not have to worry about them when keeping the door open and that way they don't escape, get lost, all that stuff, but that they can still get that fresh air and that nice cool breeze going through. So I'm gonna show you how I'm doing it. Nice and simple, very little materials. Right now on my she shed, I have this mesh covering. It's a screen for my door. That way I keep flies out of my makeshift gym and whatnot, but I also have some new babies. Welcome our little Dylan right there and our little Paisley right there. Okay, so one of my buddies across the street from me, Jim, he helped me cut out these boards and uh, they're four foot by six foot that's how big my shed door is and so i'm going to now screw in each of these ends should give it some good stability then i'm going to flip it over and i'll show you what i'm going to do next at this point i have now screwed in all of the different pieces and flipped it over i'm now applying chicken wire over the top of it i'm stapling it in in all of the different wood parts every little single one of them. Then what I'll be doing next, I'll be showing you. All I have left is to staple along that line and the two middle ones. And then I'll be cutting off that chicken wire on the end and making sure that the other ends are not past the wood. I'll show you what I'm going to do next because these little staples aren't enough. I mean, a raccoon or something could come along if they pulled on that screen hard enough, they could make those staples come out. So I'm gonna show you what to do to reinforce, make them super strong, did it to my chicken coop and it's worked beautifully. So that's where these come into play. They're awesome. You can place them on the most outer spot where it's safe, put it near a corner, and then put the screw in there and you put them periodically, it'll stay super well. Okay, so now all the parts are in to keep the screen on nice and strong. They should be spaced well enough to where little varmints can't get through. They can't pull the screen away from the wood. The middle so much is just to kind of keep it sturdy. Don't need so many there, but on the edges it really matters. And so far we have an installed screen door, handmade. Some simple hinges. I got this tight because the wood stands out further than the wood against the wall. So these kind of hinges work beautifully. I'm just gonna use two of them and that should be sufficient for what I'm using it for. Next, handles are gonna go on to open the door inside and outside. And voila. I have a handle. And now the outside one's done. I put it at an angle so it's easier to use my hand. Now what I realized just now, I'm gonna have to take the outside handle off because I'm gonna be putting window screen on the outside of that door so that the kittens can't get to it as much, but it'll keep the flies out. So I'll be removing this fabric from here. It's been working pretty decent. It doesn't work fantastic with these little uh, magnet things, but you know, they've served their purpose. So I'm gonna get rid of these, I'm gonna pull it out, and I'm going to put screening mesh on the door itself and uh, staple it in like I did the chicken wire. Next, I'm gonna be putting these latches, one on the inside and one on the outside. Now you want these little hooks, one ties into the door itself or the frame, however you decide to go, but you've got the little spring mechanism here where you have to pull it to unlock it. You want this type so that when you have raccoons or anything else, it's very hard for them to manipulate this to open it up because they can do a lot with those little hands. What I'll be doing is I'll put one on the inside and two on the outside, one at the top of the door and one at the bottom of the door. So that way if they get one open somehow, some way, there's still one that they can't reach with their little tiny bodies. So we're gonna start with this one here. So I'm getting it started. As you can see, I'm putting that eye hook into the door part. Now, 
If you don't drill it first, what I did is I just drilled a screw into there that backed it out. It makes it much easier for that eye hook to go in. The screw's a little skinnier, and if you don't have those big burly man hands, use some of these. Grab it and twist it with these instead, and that way you're not beating up your poor fingers and hands and everything else. It's hard to hold the camera and do this at the same time, but you get the gist of it. Makes life a lot easier. And there, folks, you go. A nice locked thing. Now this is on the inside. Why would I put one on the inside? Because you gotta look out for all life forms that might try to get in here. You could have a dog that's loose, a big dog. They could see these little, here, kitty kitties in here minding their own little cute businesses and they wanna come bust this door in and come get them and then they're in. If you've got a nice lock like this on the inside when you're in here and you can't get the doggy to go away, they couldn't get in in the first place because, you know, it's latched. And there we go. Got one of the locks down low and I've got one of the locks up high. It's just about as little taller than my head, which is probably about five foot three, five foot four in the air. So there's no way anything can reach that. And if they could, then they'd have to have the dexterity to be able to pull this hinge back with the spring and lift that out to get it open. So highly doubtful that's gonna happen. But if they happen to be you know, good enough to get it done on down here, say they were somehow able to do it, you still can't push it open enough for something to get through other than a mouse or a rat. Um, that's about all that's gonna fit through that gap with that top one still latched. So I can go to work now and feel safe about leaving my little kitty babies in here, knowing that when I get home from work, nothing will have gotten them. And that is a good feeling. The last thing to do on this project is put the window screen on here to keep the snakes mice and flies out of there and then it'll be finished and there is the finished product i am done i have got the mesh that goes on windows normally there's a crease here where well not a crease but where it can open now all i'd have to do is i can always get my hot glue gun put some hot glue in there and hold it together so it'll melt together or any other type of glue or adhesive or whatever to close that gap. I'm not too worried about that though. It's not like something can get in there by going through there. Um, it just will help it to stay um, together better, um, hold up better through weather and everything else, especially when it gets high winds up here. But that's it, you guys. Yeah, I feel so much safer for them now. I'll show you the inside. And from the inside, it's looking good. Nice and safe for my kitty babies. I hope you enjoyed this video of this DIY project. Like it and subscribe if you haven't. I'm hoping to bring more good ideas like this to you as cheap as possible. It's great to save money. It's time to go play with my little kittens now. See if I can wake them from their little naps. <laughs> They've been sleeping for a little while now. Oh, there's my little Paisley right there. Hi, pumpkin. And there's little Dylan take a nap also. <laughs> They're getting brave, starting to climb the screen now. A little stinker. You gotta put the screen part on the outside of the chicken wire. They must see a bug. <laughs> they are having too much fun wrestling right now. <laughs> I am so happy I got both of them so they could play together. <laughs> oh, face first.
whispers. Good job, Paisley. Oh, that was a good one. All right, you guys, take care. Have a great week. <laughs>